4K video refers to a display with at least 8 million active pixels. 4K cameras have the ability to capture images at a resolution of 4096 by 2160. Compare that to the previous standard, HD, which was 1080p or just 1920 by 1080 pixels. What do you need to know to choose the right 4K camera for your style of photography? In this video, we're breaking down the best 5 4K cameras on the market this year, based on price, performance, features, and situations they'll be used in. We'll be taking a look at 4K cameras in every price range, so whether you're looking for a great value 4K camera or the best budget model, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which 4K camera will be best for you, stay tuned. As always, all the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. So for the most up-to-date information, along with updated prices, be sure to check out the description. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. We'll start with the Panasonic Lumix FZ80, our choice for best budget 4K camera. The Panasonic Lumix FZ80 is a great budget 4K camera and lists for around $400, and gives you plenty of core features such as 4K video, 60x ultra zoom, and an 18 megapixel image sensor. The Panasonic Lumix FZ80 is a super zoom bridge camera for photographers on a budget. It features a small 1 over 2.33 inch sensor with a resolution of 18 megapixels. A massive lens system delivers a focal length range between 20 and 1200 millimeters, and a whopping 60x zoom. Using the digital zoom, you can take photos with the focal length equivalent of 4800 millimeters. As a bridge camera, the Lumix FZ80 offers an electronic viewfinder. This viewfinder has a resolution of 1,166,000 RGB dots and offers a 0.46 scale factor. In addition to the EVF, you also have an LCD screen on the back. This 3-inch screen offers a resolution of 1.04 million RGB dots and is touch sensitive, so setting up the menu parameters or choosing a focus area is very easy and comfortable. To switch between viewfinder and LCD, you use the LVF button near the viewfinder ocular because the camera doesn't offer an eye sensor. This camera also records 4K video with 30 frames per second and up to 60 frames per second in full HD format. Color results in video mode are comparable to color results in photo mode, and the automatic white balance system performs well, and most colors show only minor aberrations to their given values. A Wi-Fi module in the FC80 links up with your smartphone and acts as a wireless remote control or to publish images directly to social networks. When used as a remote control, the iOS and Android compatible smartphone app lets you change image parameters like shutter speed, aperture, and ISO with ease. The Panasonic Lumix FZ80 is a great camera that brings 4K video and 4K photo capabilities to the budget photographer, with an 18 megapixel sensor and high resolution video modes at a price that won't break the bank. Next, we'll check out the Canon EOS M50, our choice for best value 4K camera. The Canon EOS M50 lists for about $600 and is one of the best value 4K cameras on the market that features an electronic viewfinder, fully articulating touchscreen, single control dial, and a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. The M50 has a 24.1 megapixel APS-C sensor, a built-in electronic viewfinder, and fully articulated touchscreen. This sensor is recognized for its magnificent contrast and color reproduction straight in camera, delivering excellent results that can easily skip any excessive post-production. It offers a sensitivity range of ISO 100 to 25,600 that's expandable up to ISO 51,200, and the Digic 8 processor produces better looking JPEG files compared to previous generations. The Q menu, which can also be accessed via the rear touchscreen, is an overlay display that puts additional shooting settings at your fingertip. It's here that you can quickly change settings like ISO, toggle between single and AI servo focus, adjust the metering pattern, and more. The M50 is Canon's first consumer model with 4K capture support, but the camera does induce a heavy crop when recording. Aside from the crop, the footage looks really good, and considering its price, the cropping drawback shouldn't make you view the E50 in a negative light. If you want to overcome the crop and get some usable wide-angle coverage, you could use a Canon lens like the EF-M 11-22mm zoom. In terms of video, you can film 4K UHD in 24p, which can give your videos a beautifully cinematic look, or you can also shoot Full HD 1080p or go for a smooth slow motion effect using high speed 120p in HD. The Canon EOS M50 is a great 4K camera that offers excellent value for its price point. Its high performance sensor and Digic 8 processor will help you capture some stunning images no matter what the subject matter you shoot. And its focus system delivers lovely results in video with smooth racks from subject to subject. Now we have the Sony Alpha A6400 our choice for best 4K camera under $1,000. Sony's A6400 is one of the best 4K cameras you can get for under $1,000, and 
and straddles the line between consumer and enthusiast, delivering automatic operation for family snapshots with the image quality and speed that even pros love. This camera is bundled with a 16 to 50 millimeter lens and includes an in-body pop-up flash, an EVF, and a hot shoe, which is great because you usually don't always get all three in a mirrorless camera. You won't find any buttons or controls on the front of the camera, just the button to unmount the lens. The top controls are all at the right side. On the rear, you'll find the menu button and the AF slash MF and the AEL control. All the way to the right is the video record button. It's recessed and a bit awkward to reach, but that's by design so you don't trigger it accidentally. If you plan on shooting video frequently, it could be a bit of a pain, but thankfully you can reprogram other buttons to start video. The 3 inch LCD is a touchscreen and offers 921K dot resolution and a redesigned hinge that tilts up or down and also flips forward for selfies and vlogging. The screen is sharp and wide with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. The A6400 offers a lot for videographers. It can shoot in 4K at up to 24, 25, or 30 frames per second, and also supports 1080p capture at up to 120 frames per second. Autofocus is solid, and you can set the focus rack speeds to suit your subject. 4K quality is sharp, colorful, and with the pop you expect from high resolution video. The Sony A6400 is a rare camera that bridges the gap between consumer and enthusiast audiences. Shutterbugs will appreciate its speed, size, autofocus system, and image quality, while enthusiasts will be happy with its more advanced features, like its 4K video resolution. Regardless of which group you're in, the A6400 is a stunning performer at the sub $1,000 price class. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drop. So if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. This brings us to the Fujifilm X-T3, our choice for best 4K camera under $1,500. The Fujifilm X-T3 retails for around $1,200 and is one of the best 4K cameras on the market under $1,500. The X-T3 features a classic looking body, but delivers high-end specs that will appeal to both photographers and filmmakers alike. It can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second and 1080p at 240 frames per second. It's also one of the best mirrorless cameras available. The X-T3 sports three separate analog controls for ISO, shutter speed, and exposure compensation. You'll also get two additional command dials on the front and rear that you can customize, and the back of the camera features a joystick that you can use to select your focus point when shooting. Using its touch-enabled screen, you can tap to focus on your subject, and the screen also tilts up or down as well as side to side. The X-T3 uses an X-Trans CMOS 4 sensor that features 26.1 million pixels with a maximum resolution of 6240 by 4160 pixels and a base ISO of 160 up to 12,800. And the X-Processor 4 image processing engine produces super fast image processing speed. It also has a 425 point hybrid autofocus system that's very fast and will help you capture moments that you might miss with other cameras. This camera can shoot at 11 frames per second with its mechanical shutter and an excellent 30 frames per second in electronic shutter mode with the camera's new 1.25 times crop sports finder mode. Even more impressive than all of this, for videographers at least, is the X-T3's ability to capture 10-bit 4K video at up to 60p with 4 to 2 to 0 color sampling. This is pretty exceptional video specification for a stills video crossover camera. The X-T3 is one of the best 4K cameras you can get under $1,500 and has so much going for it you'd really have to scrape the bottom of the barrel to find anything negative to say about it. Last, we'll be taking a look at the Panasonic Lumix S1, our choice for best 4K camera under $2,000. The Panasonic Lumix S1 is a solid, high-quality camera that delivers superb video and stills. It's also one of the best 4K cameras available under $2,000. The Lumix S1 features a stabilized 24-megapixel image sensor, top-end 4K video features, and a very sturdy build. And while it doesn't offer as many pixels as pricier models, it does produce some stunning images and is capable of capturing those images at higher ISO settings. In addition to standard JPEG capture, the S1 offers in-camera HDR that's useful when shooting scenes with a wide range of illumination, as it can curb bright highlights and open up the shadows. This is all done without the need for raw processing or multi-shot bracketing. But if you do want to use multi-shot mode, the Lumix S1 can take multiple exposures in succession, shifting the sensor on a pixel level between each shot. They're combined into a 96 megapixel image in your choice of RAW, JPEG, or both formats. And the S1 has some of the strongest video capabilities in its price class. It supports 4K recording in your choice of H.264 or H.265 compression. While there's a noticeable crop of sensor width when working at 60 frames per second, 
the full width of the frame is available at 24 and 30 frames per second. It records at 10-bit quality when using H.265 at 24 or 30 frames per second with an HDR profile that can output a clean 10-bit 4-2-2 signal over HDMI at up to 60 frames per second with your choice of profile. You also have the option to record at 1080p with standard frame rates up to 60 frames per second. Couple these features with excellent in-body stabilization and you have a camera that is among the best in its class when it comes to video. The Panasonic Lumix S1 delivers great image quality and supports 4K recording in your choice of H.264 or H.265 compression and features a stabilized 24 megapixel image sensor and a sturdy build, all for less than $2,000. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.